Hi everyone and welcome to the midweek shave, to the Wednesday shave and um, I feel like I'm bombarding you this week with videos uh, but don't worry it's not going to be like this every week <laughs> it's, uh, it seems like every other day I think with the um, shave then tour video and then I got the answers video on Friday so uh, anyway I'm hoping you're enjoying the videos uh, I wasn't sure in honesty about the shaved den tour but um, there are several ways you can film something like that but I filmed it as I have it you know I didn't sort of set it up and uh, sort of make believe that's how it is uh, it may look messy to some people a bit all over the place but that's how it is and I know where everything is and I enjoy it like that and it's homely you know it's just it's in my home um, so hopefully that came across. I hope you don't think I'm a messy person. <laughs> but that's anyway, hope you enjoyed that. What we're we using today's shave, right? We're gonna use the Edwin Jagger DE89L. And that's a lovely razor. Made in the UK, made in Sheffield. As I've said before many times, used with the same chrome used in Rolls Royce. A used Persona Red, that is. It's a non-adjustable razor, three-piece razor. Screw the, there we go, slight overhang, but it's one of the, what I call, um, a standard, just right razor. Not aggressive, not mild, just right. What shaving soap are you using? Well, I'm not using a shaving soap, I'm using a shaving cream, if you don't mind. Right. <laughs> L'Occitane. Cade Juniper Juniper shaving cream. It's lovely stuff. I'm going to create the lather um, on camera. I usually do this before camera because the the videos go on, you know what I'm like. But um, I'm going to use the Omega. It's been soaking. Before we do anything with that, I'm just going to excuse me while I re-wet, re-moisten. I'll rehydrate uh, my face. Right. Ready. Oh, nice bit of colour today. Uh, ready to go. So this, what this is how I do it. This brush has just come out of the sink, and I flick it one, two, three, three times. So it's wet, but it's not dripping wet. There's a blob in there, there's probably a bit too much actually. And this is what I do. This is how easy it is. Especially with the, the Omega Badger brush. A badger collects moisture, water, much better than um, any other brush. Or it does it quicker, I should say. Now, as you can see, so what I'm doing, I'm turning and pumping. So I'm going, doing that and turning at the same time. So you're pumping oxygen and everything into it. Sounds very technical, doesn't it? Uh, so how are you doing? Never mind that. How are you doing? Sat there watching. You all right? <laughs> I very much hope so. And this is what's happening. See? Now what I do to test it is that. And that's peaked to perfection, as I call it. And that's how I like it. So... Oh, the smell is nice. Come on, get the old nostril done. Uh, and we're away to go. I think we'll empty that. And we'll lather this. Lovely stuff. So, it's a shaving cream. Quick to create the lather. You've seen how I've done it. That's how I do it. A nice scent. Nice scent. Nice soap, actually. I've got uh, a new product today, which I've not used in the videos before, and I've got some more on the way. Uh, not razors or blades. Well, no, sorry, I have got blades. I'd like to thank. 
oh, I forgot the channel name. I had a, a, ch um, a comment with a link to some uh, prep blades, Persona um, med blades, I think medical prep blades. And they were, thank you so much for the link, it was, um, was it, how many, I forgot how many blades now, but it was uh, about 30, eight pound or dollars was that anyway it was re it was one of the cheapest with shipping because that's where we tend to cop it in this country and so do america from this country and other countries you know you cop it with a shipping it's not the item sometimes it's the cost of the shipping but it was um very reasonable so thanks for the link you know who you are and when they arrive i'll be trying them as well so there will be new blades on the way Look at this. I've said it, I don't know how many times, I'll say it again. Fantastic razor. And this blade being used is like an engine being run in. Lovely. It's at its peak. Like the shaving cream. Uh, what else is there? So there's a, a one, a couple of new products coming, which I've bought. You know, nothing. Uh, And then blades, I have been after them for a long time, but I'd forgot all about them. Again, no pressure. Lightly slipping. And there is a lovely scent as you shave. Obviously, you you're sort of agitating the soap or the cream and it's leaving this beautiful scent, light scent, nothing heavy. Light cream performance is excellent. If you like it thinner, watery, well add more water either to the brush or to the lather itself in the bowl and as you can see, that's how I like it. Look at that. Go on, another snifter. <laughs> so I hope you're having a good week so far. And again, having some nice shaves. And are you still sneaking products in past your better halves? <laughs> I must say, Mrs. H is very good. She doesn't say anything nasty about um, me buying anything, you know. Uh, I mean, a lot of products you've seen, uh, there is still some things you haven't seen, in actual fact. But, um, you've seen the majority, and, you know, it's not all been gathered at once. It's uh, there's a few years worth there. Um, and I heard something, it shocked me, one of the comments. Um, someone saying they went somewhere and you know the palm olive shave stick I used, it's 49 pence or 50 pence in the UK to buy. He went, oh, I forgot what he said now, to a shop in America and it was $15 per stick. So if I go to America, I'm gonna take a bag full and sell them for $10. <laughs> God, I couldn't believe it. So someone somewhere is making a lot of money.
Fantastic. Let me just have a slickness test. Yeah, it is slick, but it's not the slickest. But it is slick, it's slick enough to do that. But it's not the slickest I've had. But uh, just about passes on the slickness. But it feels good, it's good protection during the shave, anyway. I mean, look at that, I haven't been, I haven't, I've been, this is, oh, blimey, take your time, ball. I haven't even been back to the bowl, and I'm not going to waste it. Do you remember when your mother made a cream cake or a cake? Did she let you lick the bowl? Now, some people might be sat bolt upright with cake snobbery and say, Lick the bowl, you damn peasantry people. You don't just. <laughs> you, don't, you don't just use peasant soap. Bloody, you do peasantry things with cakes. You know, to keep us quiet it was when you were children fighting over the cake mix. Uh, it was a certain thing. And um, my mother used to let us either use the wooden spoon and eat what was left. Uh, another memory that. Lick the bowl clean. And that's why I think I enjoy don't tell anybody this, when I have a Sunday dinner, or a roast dinner, with gravy, and um, Mrs. Hay can't bear me doing it, sometimes I'll, when, the, when I finish the meal, the gravy, I'll scrape it with a knife down the plate, and then scoop it up, with my knife, <laughs> and there. Uh, not adequate. Oh no. You wouldn't go to Harrods in London and do that. Well, they don't sell food, do they, to eat? Well, they sell food, but I don't know if you can eat on the premises. Anyway, against the growth, which isn't this way really for me, but it is here, by here now. Oh, I love it. Absolutely. Um, I was thinking this this morning, actually. Uh, the more I shave, the more I love it. The more I want to shave. Um, it's a passion. It's a passion. Lovely sound. I think, uh, I, I thought this was nice. Some people, I think, watch these videos on a tablet or something at the side of their sink bathroom, in the bathroom, and shave along. <laughs> what a fantastic idea. Ah. Oh, the slickness not too bad on the third application of soap. Oh, a little. I tell you, not, not many pickups. Not at all. 
not at all. Right. Let's have a look. When I'm quiet, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> In case you're wondering. Quiet, look at that. A couple of them little scrapers. And yet there's no no pressure on it, but there must have been enough to do that. Now that is smooth. Just if I'm very fussy. That's lovely, right. Marvellous. Rinsed off, warm water. And a lovely soft towel. Does your skin good? I don't care what anybody says. When you get used to it. I mean, I've got bits, there's bits on that towel, I hate that. <laughs> um, look at this. Must be a cheap one. Right, don't do cheap towels, do we? Bloody peasants. You know, good skin. Right, good skin. We're going to get one. Are you ready for this? Thayer's. Aloe vera formula, lavender witch hazel. So, uh, oh, that's nice. That is nice. Oh, oh, go on then. Lavender, lovely, isn't it? That is nice. Alcohol free, of course. So no stinging. It's a skin tonic, tones of skin. That's lovely, I've got it all over my face, I do neck and everywhere. That's lovely. Thayer's Witch Hazel Lavender. Alcohol free, there we go. Lovely. And then, while that goes off, I'll show you what I'm going to put on as the cologne. Skin Bracer Original, and then after that, after, see that, and then after that, oh, <laughs> Aftershave Skin Conditioner, and uh, Charles and Mrs. K, thank you very much for them. Oh, that's lovely. That's gone off enough now. Very brutish, this. That can't be a bad thing. A bit of a tingle. So that wakes you up. Oh, that's lovely, hey? You Americans know what I mean. Skin racer, baby. And then, oh, it's very cooling that. That's lovely. I'm gonna skit, skit. Just don't talk, Paul. Okay. 
not going to put a lot. And it's like a minty green colour. So we'll see what happens here now. Oh, that's nice too, eh? Matches. That is lovely. So we'll just recap what we've used and we've used the Edwin Jagger DE89L and three piece razor, non adjustable, not aggressive and not mild. It's a mid range raver, raver. You know what I mean? It's a mid range razor for me and just right, one of these just right shaves where you can use half asleep without worrying and a slight overhang on the blade but nothing nothing major fantastically good quality British razor Rolls Royce Chrome what can you say um, the blade the Persona Red it's second use and it's just like a running finely tuned engine just at its peak beautiful look at this thing here and it's not even a cut. Well, it's a, it is a cut. This is bleeding, but it's a, like a like a, you've gone too far on the skin. Doesn't hurt at all, but uh, that's all part of it, I think. Anyway, Loxitan, Loxitan. Just forgotten how you say it properly. It's either Loxitan or Loc Loxitan. Uh, Cade Juniper shaving cream. Lovely stuff. Um, good performance during the shave. Uh, the slickness got better on the third application of, la of uh, shaving cream. But when I tested after the second pass, it wasn't as good as some shaving creams. But it wasn't bad. It passed. It did the job. Um, but performance, lathering and scent, fantastic. Worth, worth having. The Omega, the red handled uh, Omega Badger brush, red mixing bowl, and then we rinsed off with water. Used the Skin Bracer Original aftershave, lovely. Um, doing this back to front, the after, what's it called? This aftershave skin conditioner, lovely. And before those two, though, I used the the Thayer's Witch Hazel, which is the lavender. Fantastic, I like that bottle. Um, and that is about it, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to go on and on at the end, I'm going to make a point of, you've seen enough of me this week, <laughs> so I'm not going to push my luck. Um, thanks for every comment and question you've left on the questions and answers video, and the video or videos, you can see I think I've had a lot of questions. Um, will be up on Friday at some point, probably evening, British time. Um, so yeah, so thanks for all your support and comments and questions and um, putting up with me for so much this week. It's, you know, you've had a hammering, haven't you? you <laughs> There's only so much of this you can take in one week. But thanks very much, as I say. Um, have some fantastic shaves yourself. And... Uh, I'll see you on Friday for the Q&A answers video. So uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you then.